games for ASU when they lost the last time they played on this floor to a very talented ranked opponent in San Diego State. They got pounded in the paint and had that problem in that matchup we alluded to at the outset on Sunday. The local game against Grand Canyon, not merely 4 of 13 floor when they played over the weekend in Tucson. Quickly into Jalen Graham, and he's been looking to raise his productivity he on the floor. UTEP has a perimeter approach. They're going to look to fire away from distance, and that is more good news. Ian, he's just happy to be healthy after all the injuries he's dealt with throughout his career. Boom, leans into Martin and finalized. Asset, Lawrence with the steal. Burge looking to create, but excellent defense by the enemy, who takes it all the way to the bucket as he gives it off to Kennedy. They're attacking the rim. They're getting paid touches. It's an 8-2 surge for UTEP to start the game. Christopher to the lane. And I tell you, now Arizona State looking to run their offense. Remy Martin knifes in, hands it off to Graham, who has it rolled out. Just to open up lanes for drives and wide open shots. Well, this one with the tempo we anticipated to start the game quality offense on both sides and if you're a coach you love that a guy that takes care of the basketball but also can make plays for himself as well christopher setting up graham who's working his way to the line titus verhoeven picked up the foul just got a little too deep in the paint that time verhoeven's not much of a scorer but if you give him a high percentage look like that he's going to drop it down Holland Woods on the floor now for Arizona State. The Portland State transfer. Plenty of space and time as Graham made his move. No need for the officials to get too assertive. Bird driving baseline. Up and under. And that is vintage Alonzo Bird. The ball has been moving. Eddie House's son, Jalen House, into the game. Coming off the scoreless performance against Grant Cannon, although he did up three as we approach the 10 minute mark. The enemy leaning in. ODG off the baseline and he's had an interesting career for he has appeared in the most games on this roster. And this is the type of offense that I think gets Arizona State in trouble though. That was a nice pass by Burns where everybody's standing. Transferred to Lee College in Baytown, Texas. Played very well there and caught the eye of Bobby Hurley. International Roster for ASU picks up the defensive pressure, but UTEP beats it. Oh, oh that is a gorgeous move by a player who knows how to finish. Boom. Looking for Christopher. Oh, he's rejected by Sholin. What a defensive effort. That's a great defensive effort by Sholin, but right there, Jalen Graham has to take that charge. You might want to preserve your own body with a big fellow coming your way. An opportunity for redemption for Christopher, and he scores. And I like Nassity in this game. That had been a bit of a lapse the last two times. The Sun Devils took the floor. Boom, that's a three, and he strikes it. Now, we did not anticipate seeing Christian Agnew play tonight. He's making a season debut, and he couldn't score. And that is going to be goaltending. 79 and a half points a game. UTEP at 77 points a game. And now we've seen much more of a half court style. Christopher stepped through. Bobby Hurley wants another goal 10, and that's two in this half. Bucket. Inside three minutes to go in this entertaining first half. Isolation for Williams. Goes middle. The enemy, that's a three. That second, you have to hit him. You know that he's going to be looking to score, and you got to take him off his sweet spot. Don't let him get so deep into the paint. UTEP team that lost in Tucson over the weekend by just eight. A frenetic sequence here. Defensive intensity really has been picked up. Verhoeven steps through. Good. Strong rebound by Jalen Graham there. Jerry does have a three-point game, and he banks it in. 3% to start this season. Another turnover opportunity for Christopher. And he's got help, but he doesn't need it. All the way to the bucket, and he's going to the line. He went seasons his last three years with the parents in the NCAA tournament prior to coming to Utah. Deontay Kennedy makes a house call. Martin makes his move at eight. He only has five points so far. Contact, and he finishes. 
Verhoeven has had a nice game so far. Gives it up to Kennedy, who's looking to get Boom involved. That was a contested three from the floor. Martin couldn't hang on. Boom, pushing tempo, gets it back. Catch and shoot, and now he's raised his productivity. 101 for Arizona State. Boom, wild. Here comes Alonzo Burns Jr. His own shot is down. And it's evident that UTEP wants to push much more to start the second half. Nifty up and under for Verhoeven. Where he's up and under and finishing with his left at the basket. Christopher can't get back. It is a power play for the enemy who read it well. UTEP is just is playing with a more sense of urgency right now on both ends of the floor. A great play by Josh Christopher right there. He's won a couple titles at Duke playing for Coach K. Juan Dixon and Patrick Ewing, the other two, if you're wondering. Boom, the kick out. Williams splashes the three. On the weak side, Cherry grabbed it, couldn't put it back. Up the floor, and the throw down with emphasis for Williams. They need to make sure that they do more of that. Well, interestingly, Arizona did not hit a three in their win over Utah over the weekend. Burge touches to collapse the defense. You can't just settle for threes. That's what the D wants you to do is just jack up a quick shot. For the third time tonight, goal tenders. And Arizona State has yet to match it. Veteran UTEP team loaded with transfers. Good ball movement. Burge finding Austin's rebound. Williams. But what a play by Woods, the presence of mind. He came up with it, and this time, Christopher drops it down. Watch it at home. That is how you finish on a big man. You go through his chest. Well-designed inbound sequence. Solid D right now by UTEP. Christopher off the handle. Steps through, and that's a pro move. For UTEP with the shot clock at eight. Good look for Kennedy, and he's bailed out by Verhoeven. Another transfer from North Alabama. Yeah, you can live with that shot. It was good transition offense. Williams, he's feeling it now. Locker room. In part because Williams has become much more of an offensive presence. Hanging with it, and that was all tenacity. It's a freshman and showing you the, the difference of being a big man down there and being a swing man. Williams with 18, Agnew to the rim. Bobby Hurley might want to think about a timeout on cue. Compay, Agnew, missed from outside. Martin thought about it. Christopher takes the shot and drains it. Christopher goes to the deck. Terrific effort by the freshman. Martin all the way to the bucket, and that's what ASU needs. Exactly. clock here. There was space on the baseline, and that's a veteran move in the blocks. Back there with him. Boom, missed him, but I'm looking at the way that these guys are running and getting after it. They just look like they wanted more than Arizona State. Another nifty move. Johnson, you're giving up easy shots on the other end. That's how you end up being down 11 after you cut it to five. Arizona State's only shooting 32% in the second half. Say it with me. The back door was open for Verhoeven. Time winding down. Last time Arizona State hosted UTEP was December of 1983. Miners won that game and they win on the road tonight, picking up their first victory with .8 to go officially against a D1 opponent this year.